Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to solve this question that we came up with in my class, and that's how much time would it take us to read all the books at the library? So uh, just a little bit of context. We took a trip down to the library, took some samples, got some numbers, and then we asked this question. And here are some things we found out. We found out in the library, and this is from the librarians, uh, they told us there's about 201,000 books in the library. In our class, including teachers, we have 25 people reading. And in our samplings, we found, on average, books have about 357 pages. And then it takes us about 93 seconds to read a page. Now, of course, this there's a lot of assumptions here. And um, we didn't sample every area of the library. And we all read at different rates. But we tried to get uh, a sense of how to solve this problem. Now, a couple other things to consider is that if 25 people are reading these books, how are they doing it? Are they doing it uh, in certain chunks of time? What's going on? Well, we, ch we decided to make this problem as simple as possible with these variables. 25 people all reading side by side without breaks until the 201,000 books are done. And also, if one person finishes a book, no one else has to reread it. So with, with those assumptions, we can solve the problem. Now, if you want to try it on your own, pause the video, give it a shot, and then press play when you're ready to proceed. Okay, so let's talk about um, one way we might solve this problem. And the first thing I realize is, okay, um, 25 people, oh my gosh, that's a little overwhelming to me. Let's first solve this problem for one person, one person reading. That's a little bit easier, a little bit more manageable. Um, so I'm going to change that part of the problem for a moment. I'm only going to look at one person and then scale it to 25. So if one person's reading in the library and they, we know they take 93 seconds to read a page, the first thing I want to figure out is, well, how many pages do I have to read? And to figure that out, I'm going to multiply the amount of books in the library. So let's figure out, basically, again, what we're trying to figure out here is how many pages we have to read for one person. So if we have 201 thousand books, right? And what do we know? We know that on average books have 357 pages. So we'll multiply 201,000 times 357 pages per book. This will tell me, well if you think about what, what this is saying, this will tell me the total number of pages that have to be read in the library. Every book has 357,000, sorry, 357 pages on average. We could figure out the, the number of pages based on this sampling. So if we multiply these two, and I, I just did it here, we get this number, 71,757,000 pages. 71,757,000 total pages to read. That's a lot of pages, right? And then we think, okay, well, what do I now do? I, I know I have to read all these pages. I know every page takes me 93 seconds to read on average. How much time will it take to read all of them together? Well, if every page takes 93 seconds, we again multiply this by 93 seconds per page to get the total amount of time we need to read all those pages, right? And if that's hard for you to picture, it's definitely hard for for me to picture, you might um, take this down on a smaller scale. So imagine you have, just for a second, I'm going to draw this on the side over here. So if that problem is difficult, think about a, a simpler case. Imagine you have, I don't know, four pages to read. Okay, this is, I have to read these four pages. And every page takes me 10 seconds to read. How, how long will it take me to read all these pages? Well, 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, that's 40 seconds to read these four pages, right? But if we think about how we know that, if we reflect on that, we can then understand what's happening here, right? 40 seconds to read these pages. The, re the reason we know it takes 40 seconds is because it takes 10 seconds per page, right? 10 seconds per page. That's S per P. I don't want to write seconds per page. That means 10 seconds per page times the number of pages. So there's four total pages. So if we multiply the four total pages by the 10 seconds per page, that gives me 40 seconds to read all those pages. You can see right here, four pages, 10 seconds on every page. So it tells me in general, if I multiply my seconds per page 
times the total amount of pages, that tells me how long it's going to take me to read all those pages. So if I go over here, I take 93 and multiply it by 71,757,000, so times 93. And we get this number, 667340. So what is this number? So we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundreds, thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, billions. Whoa, we, we're in the billions now, right? Six billion, six hundred and seventy-three million, four hundred and one thousand. Holy smokes. So I'll write this down. Six, what? <laughs> So we have millions, so six billion, six hundred and seventy-three million, four hundred and one thousand seconds for one person to read two hundred and one thousand books, right? So that's our, our total for one person. We have 25 people, so it's going to be less time, not more, but less. Sometimes people aren't sure, do we multiply by 25, do we divide by 25? Well, if we multiply by 25, this would become bigger. That's like saying it's going to take us longer to read if 25 people are reading. But we have 25 people. So we divide by 25. They're all reading together. We divide by 25 people. And this is going to give us a new answer, right? It's going to be a lower number. Oops, how was that? And if we do that divided by 25, we get this number here which is, uh, here we have hundreds, thousands, millions, 266 million, 936,000, 936,000, 40 seconds. So that's a long time to read 201,000 books. Now, if you want to think about what this means, right, with no breaks, we could turn seconds into minutes by dividing by 60, and then into hours to, by dividing by 60 again. So we have this many hours and divide by 24 to get days. So it would take about 3,000 days. If we divide that by 365.25, we get about approximately years, about eight years to read all of those books in the library. Holy smokes. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.